Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuy.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to make a website with Squarespace. I'll run you through how to sign up and choose your settings so you can get your new website online today. Let's go ahead and get started. Like we talked about in a previous video, Squarespace is a free website builder that allows you to build an easy to use website or online store. The features are simple yet powerful, making it a fast way to get rid of the complex process of hosting and building a website so you can get online today. Now, with Squarespace, they're a little different than other free website builders. They offer a 14-day trial on your new account. After that point, you'll need to select either the personal or business account and sign up. The personal is $8 a month when paid annually, while the business account is $18. Both are quite affordable for a full website and hosting option. So, the first thing we'll want to do is pull up the Squarespace website by using the first site guide link. We'll enter into our address bar, www.firstsiteguide.com slash Squarespace. That will pull up the homepage of Squarespace where you'll click the Get Started button right here. We'll be choosing a website for this video, but if you're looking to build an online store, you'd use the Build an Online Store option on the right. So we'll click Build a Website here on the left. And then the Templates page is going to pop up. These will act like the foundation of the look and feel of your website. So you can scroll through these to take a look and you can also go back up to the top and filter by different categories. I'm going to go under businesses and then select the Hayden template. It'll give you a preview of the template over here on the left and the option to get started with this theme on the right. I'll go ahead and click there, start with Hayden. You'll enter in your name, email address, and password on this screen, and then click sign up and create site. On this page, Squarespace will begin to walk you through the setup process. Click start. Select your website category. And then click Next. Select your site goals. And then click Next again. Enter a title for your website and then go ahead and click Done. Great, that'll open up the editor with some settings and options here on the left, as well as your website preview on the right. This is where you'll make your changes, save them, and publish them. So hover over the preview section and click on the edit text up here, sort of in the top right. Now, if we scroll down just a bit, we'll see that this gives us the ability to edit our homepage, change text, and more. So let's start with this headline text here. We'll simply click to highlight it, and then add in the changes that we want to make. And then let's get rid of this text down here. There we go. A little further down the page, you'll see that there are three sections here with images on the top for each section. To change an image, we'll simply hover over it and click on Edit. You'll click Remove, 
and then on add an image. You'll find one that you want to upload from your desktop and then double click it. Okay, cool. So we'll click apply. So now we can also change the header text of that section. So we'll click to select it and then change it. Cool. And then let's also scroll down and select the text down below the header text and add in what we want to add in. Okay, cool. That looks good. This will be the same process that you would follow to change the other images and the text for the other columns. Make sure to click save up here to save those changes. And you'll now see those changes that we made on the home page here. Now, here's where Squarespace is different from other website builders. To get your website to go live, you'll need to use the Upgrade Now button down here to enable your website. This is done by selecting either the personal plan or the business plan for your website. When paid annually, both offer a free custom domain name for you to use for your website. So if we select the personal account, you'd enter in your payment information and then scroll to the bottom and click subscribe. As I'm sure you noticed, there are many more features, pages, and settings to adjust inside of the Squarespace platform. To learn more about these and other free website builders, click over to check out our helpful video tutorials and guides here at firstsiteguide.com. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions you might have so feel free to contact us. Take care and enjoy your new website.